All right, welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. What's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling? If y'all like what I do over here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and that thank you button to show support for the channel. In this segment of Breaking Truckers, y'all know him. Y'all love him. He changed up many a times. This guy been in the game just as long as I have. And, of course, I ran into him a few times, and I've been a subscriber of his channel. He has maybe about 50-something, about 59 subscribers on his channel, but he changed up, though. He changed up. Today, we're breaking RVT, Red Viking Trucker. Yes, sir. But he's not going by Red Viking Trucker anymore. His channel is Love Truckers, Love Travel Adventure, Love Travel Adventure. But y'all know about RVT. You know where he came from. He was the one that tells you about Hustle Hard, and he was the one that was uh, doing the trucking coach back in the day. He was bringing, he, he was kind of like being the, being the trucker's coach back then. You know, of course, he ran across a couple of issues along the way, but he has literally changed. I mean, ever since this man got married to this new Australian woman, I mean, dude cut his mullet off. He's clean cut. I mean, back then, he was like the Viking back then. (laughs) Wow. I mean... (laughs) I, I guess uh, I guess a woman really can change you. <laughs> All right. So in this uh, particular clip right here, Red Viking and Red Hurricane, I believe uh, that's uh, that's her name. He says that DOT got them twice in four days. Let's check it out. Hold on. Pardon me before I say hi to all of you. Good afternoon, Hurricane. Good afternoon. Good evening, actually. Good evening, everyone. It is, it, and Frankie says good evening. Too. Good afternoon, Frankie. We, we, we're, we're ready for bed. Bugatti, what's going on, brother? Always good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. This stream, we did the stream the other night about knuckleheads out here in trucking. <laughs> we did do that stream. Frankie is not one of the knuckleheads. I promise no, you that. He's, he's a good bird. You're in Wisconsin. It's a nice time of the year to be in Wisconsin. We've gotten tagged twice this week in a four-day period by DOT. Yeah. Twice. We got tagged in Utah, and we just got tagged in Washington today. Luckily for me, she's been the one that's been getting hit. <laughs> you want to share anything about that? Uh, yeah. Um, let's see. I haven't. I, I got one. I got level one like two weeks into actually just getting in the seats. That was that was a shocker. The, literally, like, when she came in the truck yeah. for training, literally the, that blitz was on. And her, like, like the second or third way station you pulled into, they did a full level yeah, one. Yeah, it wasn't even two weeks. It was like... The th- <laughs> it was like the third day. <laughs> third day, I got a level one, like a full-on level one. And he's just... And red, May he's I, just... Go ahead, go ahead. No, no go no, on, no. go on. I want to... No, go. You're go. like, you know, we're team drivers, so I need to stay in the back and you can handle it. Don't judge me for that either, people. <laughs> Don't judge me. I had no idea. I had no idea what an inspection was. I had no idea what level one was. Um, but you know, I've got mad people's skills, so I can, she does have mad, I, can I can handle people. She does know? have mad people's skills. And what it was was that they, they hit her during the blitz week because that was her first yeah. week driving with me. And she said, oh, they're calling me in for a level one. What do I do? And I'm behind the curtain. I'm like, I can't come out because right, right now I've got some protection. It's just one driver being inspected. Yeah. We were fine, but I'm like, why had another driver in this situation? I said, just go inside. She was brand new. I hadn't driven, I hadn't driven one full week yet. I had no idea it was going to, but you know, I'm good with people because, you know, I was in tourism for almost close to 20 years, you know, and, um, that with team, with, with teams and people and everything all the time. Anyways, uh, the two level threes that we got in four days. Let me help you with the bird. <laughs> I know. He, he was enjoying his cuddles. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. There you go. He's still on. Um, yeah, in four days we got two level threes and, uh, it's, it's just, it's, um, today was just, well, today, this morning, is that right? The tractor that we're in, and actually this is a T680 problem for the 2022s. I don't know if you guys know this. The transmission throws a fault code. And this is the second time in 
a year we've been I've been driving this if this has happened is you're moving down the road you don't really have any access anymore to the third level of the engine brake or the max engine brake because when we put it in that in that level especially coming up coming down Donner if you slow down too fast or whatever goes on the the tractor the transmission tells you to stop you get all the red lights across the dash please stop don't don't drive anymore normally you can stop and do a seven switch key reset but it happened about seven months ago we got it fixed we're taking it in this monday for the you'll keep moving you'll keep driving but we pulled off this exit ramp there's not one sign that says there's an access problem getting back on the interstate there's not one so i take that exit and we had to do some finagling to get back on 84 once we reset because it was had I done that at night, it would have been one of the ugliest situations to get into. Because you pull up there, you can't go left and across the bridge because that that road is just a road you can't you don't want to be on with an 18 wheeler. You can't go right because it's a dead end, and there's a small parking lot. But luckily for me tonight, this is Murphy again stepping in. When that when I pull to the top of the ramp, and there's a little bit of a big parking lot you can turn around in a gravel parking lot. Getting now, let me tell you something. DLT is nothing to play with, man. I mean. Usually, DOT don't mess with you if your company has, like, a good CSA score. You know, you could, like, if you got the um, if you got the pre-pass on your truck, you could just right past the scale houses and all like that. But if not, if you don't have that and you don't have a good CSA score, of course, you're going to get pulled in and you're going to get inspected. Now, I'm not sure whether DOT pulled them on the side or they got pulled into the scale house. But in any case, you know, that's that's what happened to them when they got pulled into the, I mean, when they got pulled by DOT. Red Viking Trucker, his new channel is called Love Travel Adventure. With about 69K subscribers, go over there and check them out. I do believe he still has some of his old content up. Uh, you know, when he was doing the, uh, doing the, what do you call it? You know, the truckers coach and, and the coaching calls and all that good stuff. He has some, he has some good interviews on there. He also has some good old content for new drivers as well. So go and, uh, go and check out uh red Viking trucker on his new channel or a new name for his channel, love travel adventure. Um, let me give you let me give you a, a little tidbit that I believe they only do live streams now. Uh, I don't believe uh, Red Viking uh, does any uh, any edited content like he used to. It seems like he's happy. He's in a great space and still providing that good, clean teeth. Wow. <laughs> That's going to do it for this segment of Breaking Truckers. We broke RVT, Red Viking Trucker. All right, until next time, who do you guys want to see broke nets? Who are we going to break nets? That's a good question. In order to find out, you got to be subscribed to the channel. Until next time, everybody, make sure you stay tuned for the Nets Lockout Man podcast. Feel there's something in the air. Tonight, got a feeling coming over me I swear that this is that place to be In the water, in the, the water, in the water